The phone rings and the caller has an offer for you, but then tries to get your personal financial information. Well, it happens all the time, but one Metro couple knew what to do. They shared their story with Call for Action's Keith King, hoping it helps others. Keith? Mark and Krista, good evening and Call for Action. We warn about this all the time. Never give out personal financial information to a stranger who calls you up on the phone. Joe and Car Charlene Grantham of Pra uh, Prairie Village got one of those phone calls yesterday morning and knew exactly what to do. The caller said that he wanted to send them what he called a new medical senior card, but to do it, he needed to know the name of their bank. Well, she didn't budge. She knew exactly what to do and asked the caller's phone number so she could check out to see if his organization was legitimate. And it didn't take long for the caller to hang up. I said, I'm not giving out the name of our bank. He said, if you do that, he said, I'll let you talk to a superior when we're finished. I said, I am not giving out my bank. <laughs> and he hung up. I had never heard of a senior medical card, and he was talking about sending me our new senior medical card. And thanks to you, that's how we learned, and we've heard of certain scams before, and we thought, you know, well, at least he should call and tell you. Well, just this week, the Kansas Attorney General warned about an increase in the number of complaints about scams into his office, and here are ways to identify a scam. First, follow the Grantham's lead. Never give out personal information like Social Security numbers or bank account information. Never wire or send money to claim a prize, and never deposit legitimate-looking checks that come with a letter claiming that you've won a prize. You can find more tips on avoiding scams. Just go to our website, KSHB.com, click money, and then call for action. For Call for Action, I'm Keith King.